Today we pick up our Bible study in Matthew chapter 26, verse 47. In Matthew chapter 26, verse 47, we learn of why Jesus has been praying so intently. His time has come. Matthew chapter 26, verse 47, quoting from the New King James Version states, And while he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the twelve, with a great multitude with swords and clubs, came from the chief priests and the elders of the people. As Jesus had returned from praying and found Peter, James, and John asleep for the third time, he states in Matthew chapter 26, verse 46, Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. They look up from their sleep, Peter, James, and John, see a large crowd coming towards them, and they're being led by their fellow disciple of Jesus, Judas. This mob is armed with swords and clubs, as we learn in Matthew chapter 26, verse 47, as if a great conflict is expected, and their main objective is to capture the one who has come to bring peace. This is an example of the hatred that the devil builds up in the sinful nature against our Savior, Jesus. There was no reason for an angry mob to come after Jesus to arrest him for crimes that he did not commit. Jesus has escaped angry mobs throughout his earthly ministry, so why does he not escape now? Jesus has predicted or prophesied of this day. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 21, we learn, from that time, Jesus began to show to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised the third day. That day has arrived. And the angry mob has come to arrest Jesus for crimes that he did not commit. Dear Lord, we are accused of wrongdoings many times throughout our lives, and we defend ourselves to prove our innocence. But Jesus came to be falsely accused, knowing that he would be punished for the sins of humanity, the sins of the human race. Jesus was innocent, but it is his innocence that gives us freedom from sin. It is his innocence that gives us forgiveness. It is his innocence that gives us life free from sin. Please help us to believe and be saved in Christ. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.